right. So we're going to start with a small presentation um, on the on the club, just a few tips um, that are useful for, for every meeting to, to run smoothly. Remember, because we are online, when you guys are not talking, we can we can please all uh, leave the, the microphones on mute. As usual, we will do the 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 the, the same gestures as in the presential meetings, but we can do them. We can do them. For instance, the applause. We can do it in, in line language. We can we we should try to to learn new words, and that's why we have the the, the word of the day that will be presented by our grammarian today. And then. <clears throat> We have to reward, in some sense, those who use the word of the day. And then uh, we should be able to, to remember the, 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 the time and picture so that those who are speaking in, 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 a, in a capacity or another can remember to follow the, the, the time. If there is any issue, technical issue, please raise it up. Like Olavo now is saying, can you hear me, Olavo? No, I can't. But it okay. froze before. Okay. Very good. I hope uh, it will be hot enough for me not to freeze anymore. And then we have to remember that uh, we, in case we have some some um, invited colleagues who are joining the meeting. They are welcome to talk, especially in the table topics section that will be led today by Laura, but it's not mandatory. So the table topics is a section where we try to, to encourage other colleagues to get to know the meeting. The mission, for those of you who are not familiar, we're not many today, and I don't know if we have any invited new members, new, new invited colleagues joining, but basically, it's a matter of practicing public speaking in a, in a safe environment where you basically get feedback from colleagues that recognize that none of us, you know, it's, uh, we all have to improve. And, and that is the starting point, regardless of our level of, of public speaking, we all have to improve and we all can improve by, by doing certain things um, like for avoiding uh, all these things that we do in the meetings. The idea is always to, to become not only better speakers, but better leaders as well. Uh, those who don't know Toastmasters um, as, as an institution with all its clubs coming later over the years, but it started something like uh, over 100 years ago. And, and, and it has been used by many leaders throughout the world. There's been very famous speakers who, who use Toastmasters. And some of us are not famous yet, but we will become Toastmasters and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and become more famous and better leaders because of the tips and help and the speeches that we make here. That's basically the, the mission of the club, to improve and, and to practice and to learning by doing, to learn by doing. So let's move on. We can introduce today, I will be Toastmasters of the day. That's why I started talking with this very mini introduction of the club. We are going to have several colleagues. There's always a number of people who are involved in running any of the meetings. And, and we always have to be particularly grateful for Today, particularly, we always have to be grateful to the colleagues for running the functions, but today, particularly, because some of the, of the functions that, uh, as you may be aware, through the, through the Brazilian Toastmasters WhatsApp group, have been decided at the last minute. So let me pass on the, the, the word to our colleague, uh, Aletea who will be today the timer. She can introduce her functions, the rules, etc. Over to you, Alitea. Thank you, Rosa. 
this is time. I will time the table topics, the speakers, the formal speeches, and the evaluators too. I will also alert each speaker of the time left using in my breakout green when the time in the minimal, yellow in the middle time, and red when the time is finishing. And I will report every time, every uh, part of the meeting. Uh, and thank you for today. Back to you, Jose. Thank you, Letea. Thank you, Letea. This is what uh, was meant in the first slide. For those of you who are a bit familiar with, uh, with uh, the Zoom app, you can pin the image of the timer so that you will see Aletea at all times and you cannot claim or just, you can just, you know, uh, not do well in terms of the timing because you were not able to see Aletea. Thank you so much. Let me move on. And we will now pass the word to our colleague Naya, who will be a counter and grammarian. And yeah, I think you can, you can introduce both functions if you don't mind, please. Over to you. Sure, thank you. Good morning, everyone. So today I'm I'm doing both a counter and grammarian. Just let me tell you just a little bit. As a grammarian, my responsibility is to pay close attention to the speakers, all the speakers, listening carefully with their language usage. I will take notes any in proper language as well as any outstanding words, quotes, sayings, and thoughts. So uh, I'm as a grammarian. It's also my duty to introduce the word of the day. The word of the day is, um, can you show? Conciliate, thank you. Uh, what, what it means to conciliate? It means to end a disagreement or someone's anger by acting in a friendly way or slightly change your opinions or to satisfy someone who disagrees with you by acting in this way. So for example, an independent advisor has been brought in you to conciliate between the two sides involved in the conflict. Or you can say also, an independent advisor has been brought into, it's the same one, <laughs> sorry, it's the same example. So uh, conciliate means uh, I'm thinking about peace. So you, if you want to, maybe sometimes even the time also, you can conciliate the time. So. Every time you use conciliate, we're gonna give you a thumbs up, okay? And as a, a counter, I'll be listening to all the feelers and crutches uh, like this one, okay? So I hope we have a very nice meeting. Back to you, Jose, Pepe. Thank you so much, Naya. That is an excellent word because it's it's interesting and we always learn new words in this with this function of the of the grammarian but it's particularly useful in these crazy times that we are living with all so many conflicts in the world and all and and it it, it leads to a to a word that is reconciliation and it's is very much what we need let's move on um, with the different functions. Next, we have our friend Laura, who is going to be the Table Topics Master today. She will introduce the function. Over to you, Laura. Thank you, Jose. As the Topics Master, I'll be presenting with you a few situations that are going to be really funny because we had a topic. As Pepe mentioned, we had a few last minute changes in the functions but we were supposed to have a superheroes meeting today. So it's going that way, please be ready. It's going to be a few surprise topics and you have one to two minutes to speak so that we can practice our improvisation skills. And then I'll return with some more details later on the meeting. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think we're all familiar with the table topic section, but it's definitely one of the sections that are most interesting and that uh, most people appreciate, those who are not familiar with, with the meetings and, and that are attend meetings for the first time, it's, it's a funny one. All right, so let's move on with the introduction of functions. We have now 
Edith, who is going to quickly introduce most of the of the of, of her contribution will be at the end of the meeting, but she can quickly introduce a function over to you, please, Edith. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. Can you hear me? We can hear you. I hope you can clear. also. I hope you can also see me now. So thank you for inviting me uh, for this meeting. And my role today will be general evaluator. And what means that by the end of the meeting, I will um, produce a report to all of you guys about how I saw, I perceived the meeting with uh, ups, uh, highlights and matters to consider for the future for improvement so that I help uh, this club move forward with great success. So, but, but you're going to see me mostly by the end of this meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Edith. Thanks for explaining the function. We are really grateful and we, we will be very nice to you so that you can give us a good evaluation. <laughs> And I like, where are you? I mean, I, I know these days it's not a true picture, it's, it's, but it looks like you're in the Amazon or something, which shows that you like nature. Okay, by the end of this meeting, wait, and I will let you all know where I am. Excellent, excellent. Thanks again. Let's go for the last function of the day that is very, very, very critical, especially when when um, meetings are run online, which is the Zoom master function that today is gonna to be taken up by our colleague, our friend, Daniel. Over to you, please, Daniel. Hello, good, good morning, everyone. So today my role is Zoom master. So I'm trying to conciliate people and technology. And I will try to organize all the meeting and just update the forms and just try to, ever, everything goes well. So thank you. Back to you, Pepe. Thank you, Daniel. So that means that you will be Zooming throughout the meeting. It sounds, it reminds me of something like a superhero. Um, okay, perfect. So we have all the ingredients to start the meeting. We have all the functions. We um, we have the, the, the word second. of the day. Mm -hmm. You see, you start zooming now. These are the, the challenges of the online life that we all have today. We're gonna to be showing the word of the day. Conciliate. And now we have the meetings always have several fun, several sections. The first one is the prepared speeches. Then we will have the table topics and we'll have last but not least the evaluation section. So now we are ready to move on with our first and I think only speech of the day, which is gonna be made by Olavo, which is called Being Great. This is the leadership development course one number five, evaluation and feedback is what is this, this um, speech is gonna consist of. And it will be evaluated by who will evaluate this? Okay, it doesn't matter. I think it's me, me. Yes. So let's move on. Thank you, Olavo. Over to you. Good luck. Hi everyone. I hope everyone can hear you well. What would you do if you lost everything you had? I hope that never happened to you guys, but that happened to a guy named Zeno of Sitio. He lost everything he had to shipwreck and he was a merchant, so he lost everything he had. But that didn't, but it's not him to sorrow. He tried to find peace in philosophy. He went to a book selling Athens and he read a book there about Socrates and he was a pet waiter with him and that's the bookseller where he could meet such men. So the bookseller put to a guy, they said, ah, the guy is greatest for David, and he's a cynic, the, the guy that was at the time. 
temos zero outra, por isso a pessoa vem para o They caught their heads at the taxi two days ago because that was what started Sky Civil. Zen was the guide that created, and the name came from the place in which they get how we store in a public space act where his fathers and him tried to reflect on Stoicism itself. Stoicism is all about not being affected, not being affected of things that are outside of control. Let me give you an example. In the beginning of this year, I took the fourth jab from the COVID vaccine, and I was bad ridden. I was very angry at the situation. And, and myself, for putting in the jab, and for and, and my body, because it reacted very poorly. But I thought to myself, after reading this book right here, oh, you cannot, you guys cannot see the book, but it's meditation, Mark Aurelius. Maybe you are in a situation who help me recover fast. No, we didn't. And last month, I got food positive. But I already have that in mind. I wasn't angry. I wasn't mad at myself. I just tried to get rest so I could recover fast and try to think of ways for me to not get food positive again. So I was more careful. Another idea of stoicism is that we suffer more imagination than in real reality. And this is very prevalent in today's world because I decided I have, I am an intern at the school and there are a lot of kids that they have excited. They are young and they suffer a lot from them. There's a talk, next week I'm gonna have a test with you. The guy gives them anxiety. So they something even before doing the test, even before preparing, before anything. When I was writing this speech, I was getting anxious when I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna talk when I'm there. That, and it's exactly that anxiety that makes me stutter, that makes me not do well. So it's up my imagination, in this case, anxiety. Then in reality, when I'm here, I'm actually happy to be here. Like Daniel is a runner. There's something called runner side that before I start the running process, you're gonna have to do that. I don't want, I don't want. I don't want. But when you're like at your top speed and you see everything passing by so fast, we're like glad to be doing that. Of course, I'm not talking about stoicism without talking about the man that is the title of my speech, being great, and it's all related to him, Max Aurelius. He was the emperor of Rome. He was the, uh, the second half of the second century. He was the most powerful man alive. But it's time keeping him to the power. What he did was, he tried to be a better man. And I say try and all was because it's something that being a good man or a good woman, a good person itself, something you should strive for. It's not something you should achieve because after you achieve, it's not going to be as great as the, as the, the, the journey there. And you can see that in his book on meditations because every time that he was, uh, every night, he would write his book. To write notes to himself, everything that anguish is in for his fellow man, everything he can do better, everything that he tried to do every day, the day. And different from other books, meditations, very, very different. It wasn't a book that he wrote to publish for us to read. He wrote the book, meant to himself, it's like a sanctuary, kind of like a diary. So whenever you read the book, you get um, insight of things. Many thoughts, his small private thoughts. It's actually very strange to read it because we are not supposed to read it. But after his passing got this book, and now I want to read a quote from it to you guys. It's on the page on the second chapter. Say to yourself, first in the morning, today I shall meet people who are mad, ungrateful, aggressive, precious, malicious, and social. All this I subject them to their ignorance of the view and me. But I have seen that the nature of goods are right, the nature of evils are broken. And I have reflected that the nature of the friend and himself is akin to my own. Not a kinship of blood or seed, but sharing the same mind, the same fragment of divinity. Therefore, I cannot be harmed by them then, as not will impact me with the world. Nor can I be angry with my kinsmen or hate them. The bulk of cooperation, like feet, like hands, like eyelids, like the rose of upper lower teeth. Those working in opposition to 
one another is against nature, and Nagar rejected this opposition. We have a lot of different quotes in this book. It's a very thick book, but at the same time, it's very great about stoicism. I'll, I don't have enough much time now, but so I'm not going to do something on that plan. Can we do afterwards? I hope everyone got the grasp of it. It's very hard to understand, and this is probably read once. I'll probably read more times next year, next decade. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks, everyone, for listening to me. Bye, guys. Thank you so much, Olavo. Great speech. I must say, I don't know if it's only me, but uh, there was at some point there was there was some issues with the sound, but but I think it was it was definitely good enough to be to be considered and to be and to be evaluated. So that was the speech of Olavo. Now we're going to have a, a small minute or so to give feedback online to Olavo on his speech by every one of us. I think the link has been shared on the, sh on the chat, yes. So let's take a quick minute to, to help our friend Olavo with some feedback, please. Thank you for the indication, our timer of the day, Aletea. That means we can move on. And we don't have any more prepared speeches. Um, Aletea, timer report. Over to you, please. Thank you. Um, Olavo has done it in six minutes and 25 seconds. So no time. He should do it in between five and seven minutes. So great job, Olavo. Back to you, Pepe. Thank you. That means that Olavo is eligible to be voted for the best speech of the day. Damn, I should have made a speech today because that means he's going to be winning the best speech of the day. <laughs> All right. Um, let me look at the agenda. Do we have a networking break? I think I'm going to ask for help from our VPE today. We don't have a, a, a networking break when the meeting is an hour, do we? Naya? Yes, we do, I guess. We do? Yes. All right. We have time, so, right? <laughs> yes, we, we're fun, actually ahead of time because because there we was do. only one speech. We have. Would so anybody nice. like would anybody like to make a a table topic speech and prepare a speech of five minutes? <laughs> okay, so let's take a, let's take five minutes, a quick break to to get a coffee or or use the bathroom or whatever. Let's do it. It's 24. We're back at 29. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Holiday. Maya, how are you doing? Great. Pamela is here. Pamela. Pamela is here today. Oh, great. And Daniel. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Daniel also Bausch. I th I thought I think he's he he told us how to pronounce the last time, but I don't remember. <laughs> help Bausch. us, Daniel. Bausch. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Bausch. Okay. It's Bauchspis. Bauch. Bauchspis. Hey, it's it's German. I know. <laughs> so for this reason, it's too complicated. <laughs> yeah. Bauchspis. Welcome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Are you from Brasilia? Or you're from Germany? Yes. Germany. I, I am <laughs> from Brasilia. My my grandfather was German, but uh both from the fa my father and my mother's side I have some ascendants, some ascendancy. Uh, from German, so yeah, it, it's really, really, the family is really related with Germany. Have you been to a meeting? Um, yeah, UMB, I think so, right? I yes, 
you used to be a member? Uh, Portuguese member, yes. Oh, that's okay. nice. For now, it's it's a bit hard. I, I sometime in my life I want to uh, uh, come back. Uh, oh. More enthusiastic, no. <laughs> uh, but for now it's really really hard. I just don't have uh, the time, the brains to. <laughs> Uh, you have the, uh, you, sorry, you have to conciliate the time, right? Yes, the time, the er, everything, everything I, I want to do, and yes. Okay. But it, time is limited. Right. Time is limited. That's why we have a timer in every meeting. Yes. <laughs> yes. I also see that Pamela. I don't. I don't think I've met Pamela. Pamela, would you like to? Is it the first time you come to this meeting? Would you like to introduce yourself? Um. Hello guys, good morning. I was a member of Toastmaster for three years, <laughs> but now I'm doing, uh, making a break because I'm doing my post-graduation. But I want to back. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> oh, nice. This is are you, where, so where are you based? Where, where are you, Pamela? Are you coming in person to the meetings in the future? Maybe I'm from Brazil, but I live a little far for the club. But I like more the presential. I like more the energy about this. Of course. One day, one day I want of to back. We have colleagues and members in the club that come uh, to the meetings in person and drive up to three hours just to oh my be gosh. there with us. <laughs> From Goiânia, yeah, exactly. So yeah, so that you can see the value that coming to the to the meetings in person brings to you. Oh. Some people are some people are thinking about getting a flight from Europe and coming to Brazil just to the meeting. Uh, Brazil That's is right. valuable. It's the best club of the Brazil, right? Yeah, <laughs> you have this. Proud. Same comment for Fernando. Fernando is also going to be coming flying from. Are you based in Rio, ne? Yeah, I am from the Rio Toastmasters. I am from. I am Toastmaster size and twenty two, so I'm from Rio de Janeiro science. So now, uh, it's now is is it's fine here because the last week and. Uh, it's so hot and possible only for the self club. Uh, today now I I am I am I am I will to the training in the Rio Toastmasters. We will be a uh, we will make a training about um project, and I am a little bit late and I'm trying to <laughs> to stay in the correct time. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you can go to the beach. You have the no. beach straight there. Yeah, but the, the beach from Rio de Janeiro is not a, a, a great beach to, to people who live in here. It's more like to tourists because, in general, the beach are... Uh, there are a lot of garbage in the beach, you know? Really? Yeah. And the, the, the beach, in, in, in general, is, is very dangerous. It's very dangerous because that are stolen or something like that, because Rio de Janeiro is, is not a a safe person, a safe uh, place. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So from Rio de Janeiro, if you want to cool yourself in this crazy heat that we are suffering these days, you could always come to Brasilia. We have a, a great Lake Paranoa that somebody yeah. told me has the greatest marina in Brazil after after Rio and I think Salvador, somebody told me. In terms of number of boats, that's that's what it is. Oh, I see Aletea in red. Sorry, that means <laughs> that means time is up. So it's time to move on with the meeting. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, so now we have the section of the table topics, which is which is the cool one in terms of people having to learn to think on the feet and to answer quick questions like there were some somehow in, in a job interview or something, which can always be useful for everyone, regardless of your job, regardless of where you live, et cetera, et cetera. So let me, without further ado, pass on to Laura. 
so that she will manage lead this section. Over to you, Laura. Thanks. Thank you, Pepe. So, like I said before, we had a superheroes team today, but I don't really like superheroes. So I chose to bring some superpowers instead and some unusual superpowers. I will invite some of you to speak and you can volunteer too. And you have to choose between two options of superpowers and you elaborate on how you use them. We'll have one to two minutes to speak so that we don't have too long. Our word of the day is conciliate and please keep an eye on Aletea, our timer. So first I'd like to invite Pamela. Are you up for it, Pamela? Yes, I can. My English is not the best at the minute, but I can try. Need to worry. So this is our okay. You see my screen? Yes. We do. Great. So please pick one. Uh, I don't understand the no need. You you're choosing like randomly. Then I'll click, and you see what super what superpower is it. Oh, okay. Guys, I want to speak to you about uh, um. Uh, pen. What? Just you have to choose. Please, you have to choose. Just choose a picture. Ah. Number one. The number okay. is the. Your superpower. Unusual superpower is trash, de trash detection. <laughs> From one to two minutes. One day I have a dream. I had a dream. I dream when I can imagine and know what is in the the trash. You you do imagine how power this is because. You have a lot of trash in the world, and this is a lot of pollu pollution, and um, this makes the world the world very sad. I think it's sad because you have a lot of uh, possibilities about this. If you can think about the trash, you can do you can reach there a lot of. Um, I guess it's because I forgot the word, but you can do a. I can do it in Portuguese. It's more. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did mm -hmm. Portuguese because fix better. Vocês já imaginaram como seria o mundo se a gente pudesse imaginar quais são os conteúdos dos lixos? Vamos pensar um pouco sobre isso. A gente gasta por dia milhares de objetos e se você pensar, cada objeto que a gente tem, por exemplo, desodorante. Um dia ele vai para o lixo, e aí você vai descartar ele, e ele vai virar um tecido que vai durar pelo menos 100 anos na natureza. Agora, imagine a seguinte situação, a gente poder ver dentro do lixo. Se a gente pode ver dentro do lixo, o que acontece? A gente consegue facilmente distinguir entre o que é reutilizável e o que não é. Isso, considera, isso poderia, com certeza, ampliar o nosso nível de reciclagem. E a gente poderia utilizar esse lixo que fica na natureza sendo desperdiçado e ali, com certeza, degradando o meio ambiente por anos. A gente poderia usar isso para construir algo muito melhor, um futuro muito melhor. Sinceramente, eu fico muito preocupada, isso é bem real, eu fico muito preocupada com a quantidade de lixo que a gente produz. E se a gente pudesse pegar esse superpoder de ver dentro do lixo e usar isso para poder é, reciclar melhor, a gente teria ali um mundo muito mais sustentável e ecologicamente correto e a gente poderia conservar melhor ele para a humanidade. Muito obrigada. Thank you, Pam. It's really good to see you here. I really miss you. And now, do you have some volunteers that would like to go? It is. Great. Let me share with you. Please pick one. The um, right hand side one. Great. You have the superpower of invisible handwriting. What would you do with it? You have from one to two minutes, and the word of the day is conciliate. 
Thank you, Laura. That's a great challenge that you were uh, giving me. Uh, invisible handwriting is a real power I always loved to have. And this is an opportunity to share with you guys what can be done with this superpower that you all may be wondering, why? Why would anyone write something that's invisible to other people? Well, you must remember that we all have our little secrets and that's the moment when you would like to have an invisible handwriting. Imagine that you have that uh, the, uh, daily journal that you write all your secrets, all your personal secrets, everything that happens throughout your day. And you are the only one who is interested in having it uh, able to be read in the future. So let's say you are on your, in your 15s, you were 15 years old and you were writing something that really is necessary to soothe your heart by because you know guys that when you write something that's troubling you it helps you coming down and being more on your feet about your emotions so let's say that you are on your 15th and you're writing about something that you and only you want to read in the future so invisible writing would be great Think about that your mom, your dad, and everyone else in your family or that you know will never be able to read it. And that's great because it's all secrets and they are, they are your secrets. So invisible handwriting may be very useful for you if you are planning to write about, about your life in looking forward to selecting what you're going to share in the future. So invisible handwriting is something that I always dreamed of. And I know many people might be wondering now that may be a very good superpower. Thank you, Laura, back to you. Thank you, Edith. I, actually, when I was preparing these topics, I was thinking like, really, this is not helpful. We can do anything without it, but you convinced me otherwise. It's really hard to conciliate writing in your teens and just living, you know. So it would be really great. And now I need another volunteer. I, I have a volunteer. Oh, I let's go. Volunteer. Fernando goes, then Naya goes. It's okay. So Fernando, please. Pick one. Uh, the right one. You now have the unusual superpower of bullet attraction. What would you do if you had bullet attraction? From one to two minutes, and the word of the day is conciliate. Uh, thank you so much. So, the big problem in Rio de Janeiro is the bullet problem. You don't know how can you be catch by a, a bullet, a lost bullet. But, but if you have, if you, you are like me and have the power to attract the bullet, you can work like a, a, a magnet from bullets. So, I am not human target if, if there's if people will be like safe the first people people need to stay stay with me and uh, you can lower you can lift uh, in peaceful because you know that all the bullets you go to me and not for you so it's the that the advice uh, of the uh, bullet, um, bullet magnet. So thank you so much, <laughs> and stay and stay alert with the bullets. Thank you, Fernando. It's really funny because you're the only one from Rio, and you got the bullet one. 
<laughs> it's really hard to be in there. And now we're going on with Maya. Let me just share this. Naya, which one would you like? The apple one. The apple. You have the superpower to communicate with fruit. What would you do with it? From one to two minutes, the floor is yours, Naya. Thank you, Laura. Wow. Communication is everything we need today. And communicate with Fruits are the best. Why? Because in Brasilia, in Brasilia, we have so many fruits. If you come here right now, we have mango trees, a lot of mangoes. So I would go to a mango and say, hello, mango, how are you doing? And he's going to say, I'm a little ripe, but I'll make sure in time, I think. <laughs> and most of the times we have uh, guavas and the best ones are the berries, I love berries, that juicy red ones. So I would love to talk to them before I ate them, right? <laughs> so I go to the berries and say, hello, berries, how are you doing today? And they're going to say, please don't eat me. <laughs> it would be terrible. I think uh, fruits are the best and you should eat your fruit today, okay? And before you eat, talk to them. And you, I think you'll be very happy. Back to you, Laura. Thank you, Naya. Have <laughs> time. That's a hard one, but actually in Brazil it's very useful. I'm always wondering if the fruits are ripe or not. And now we have the time for one last, right, Alataya? Okay. Yes. So who hasn't speak? Who hasn't? Who didn't speak? And wants to go? We have Fabio, Pepe, Daniel, Fabio. 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 <laughs> if the, I can challenge you myself. Go, Fabio? Okay, Fabio is good. He's good? Hello, everybody. It's my first time here. Um... Uh, I'm, I'm here because uh, my, my, great, my great friend, Aletheia, uh, she invited me. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, choose. You need to choose. choose from one of these. The rain. Which one? The 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 rain, the tempestad. Oh, okay. So you have the superpower to absorb bad luck. What would you do with it? From one to two minutes, and the word of the day is conciliate. I think I think it's a, a great superpower because because when when you have a, a good look all time, it's not great. It's 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 a, it's a problem because it, you you don't have a a, a chance of the of the. Uh, you don't have a chance to experiment other things because you don't have the because uh, uh, for for this when you have a uh, bad look you have a uh, a a chance to experiment new things and 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 the new ways I think it's a a good a good power because this. Thank you, Fabio. Absorb bad luck. It's a tough one. I think it's as tough as attracting bullets. And now just so I can share a little bit with you, which were the other ones? I'll pass by it. Just out of curiosity, because I could see all the faces going like, how the hell did you think about it? And I didn't. It's actually a group dynamic that I experienced from Pamela Will Know It as um, when we were together in an extension project, project in Wenibe, in Edsoc, yeah. <laughs> and then we had this group dynamic in which we had to present our awful, awkward superpowers. And that's where I got the idea from. 
and we have uh, some others that are really weird. Let me show you real quick. So we had trash detection, desaturation, it means losing the oxygen in the body, either yours or someone else's, seduce heads, invisible handwriting, control a remote control, bullet attraction, super slow motion, communicate with truth, ultra fast aging, absorbed luck, and that's all. Thank you, everybody. It's been great to share this time with you. Back to you, Patty. Thank you so much, Laura. For those of us who've been lucky to be in many, in many meetings of Toastmasters and who are familiar with the table topics, you really, really, really outdid yourself. It's, it's very difficult to become, not to become, to, to come up with such level of originality. And, and people, I, I like superheroes because of my kids and stuff. This is an angle that I would have never thought of. It was really funny. Thank you so much. Now let's move on to the timing report of Aletea on the colleagues to see who is eligible for the voting. Over to you, Aletea. Thank you, guys. So Bob told about trash and she done in two minutes and 10 seconds. He talked about invisibility and she done in two minutes and 21 seconds. Fernando talked about bullets attract attraction and he done in 54 seconds. He was almost there, Fernando, sorry for that. Naya uh, talked about communication and she done in 56 seconds. Oh, Naya, you <laughs> guys. And Fabio talked about observation and he done, he's done in 46 seconds. So we are, they are uh, Edith and Fernando. Fernando. They are only the eligible today. Back to you, Patty. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Letea. Just, just to check out here, just Edith and Fernando that yes. are eligible. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Letea. Thanks, Daniel, for the clarification. So now we can take one quick minute and then vote for the best table topics speaker of the day. We have the chat. Sorry, we have the link on the chat. It is quite interesting to see while while we finish the voting. It's interesting to see how in the meetings in, in Portuguese, people tend to over speak. And in the meetings in English, people tend to under speak. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then now we move on to the third section, which is following up on the line of the superpowers, people who are members of Toastmasters also cultivate the superpower which is being able to give feedback for the colleagues, for the mates, to, to improve in the speeches. And this is the first section of the, in every meeting uh, structure is, is, is composed of this, this, this area of giving feedback. Today, the evaluator of all our speeches is gonna be Fernando. So let me pass over to you the floor, Fernando, thanks. Where is Fernando? Fernando is not here with us, I think. I'm I afraid Fernando Fernan. dropped. He was in the subway, right? Aye. All right. Would anybody yeah. like to be the evaluator of Falavo? Or maybe we can switch the order and return to the evaluation later. Yes, we can, we can do that as well. If he doesn't come back, 
something that I, I'm just completely, completely thinking on my feet now, we could do is to just give feedback to all of, all of us together in different rounds. Those who feel, I took my notes like in every speech. So if Fernando doesn't come back, we can always do that. Jose, that's Edith. And I was just about suggesting the same thing. I think it's uh, it's called round robin, and it's such a great opportunity and a tool for us to use. And by the way, some clubs do that. Do the uh, some advanced clubs they do the round robin, which is all of us providing feedback to allow. And I have my notes, and I would also uh, would like to provide feedback. So why don't you get started, Jose? I think rather than wait, because I'm afraid he's heading to another meeting from what he said in the beginning of the meeting. I'm afraid right. he may not be able to join. Excellent. Thanks, Edith. I can see that you also have the superpower of reading my, my, my brain. <laughs> so I'll give a quick start. Olavo, you have a very good presence. Now, this is something I keep thinking because um, it's it, I have a dilemma in my mind. I don't know if the light helps having depending on the on the light you have. Like I have my when I see myself, I don't like that I that I have a lot of light here and I'm dark here. You have the same, and when you put the background of the blue toast masses, which is rather dark, I don't think it helps with the image. Now we have to keep in mind when we are not meeting in person, the image. The feedback for the image is, is much more limited and it's much more important. That's why I would encourage having a background that is like Danielle's, that is you have more light behind. It helps. You don't have so many options in terms of the moving on the stage, in terms of the uh, speaking with the hands. So the few limited options that we have, I think that's useful. I would suggest at least to consider it. Then a little bit in the similar line, in the, in the same vein. You could also show more hands moving. Now, there's, there was an issue that, um, that obviously the, the sound was a bit of a, of a, of a challenge, not only because, because um, there, was, there was some sort of resounding, it wasn't very clear, and that makes it more important for you to be aware that you have to articulate and probably speak a bit more slowly. There were things that I couldn't catch. And, and I think that um, the, the story was very good. I like the story. And, and you introduce something that is a challenge. You introduce a person a story, which is like an adventure with the book and so on. And that wakes up empathy in the listener. But you have to make sure that the challenges of the sound, etc., don't become a burden for the listener. I'll stop here because otherwise I'm going to make all the evaluation myself. Who who wants to go next? Edith, over to you. Okay, I will go. I was waiting for some other volunteers, but my my feedback to you, love, is that um, building on what Jose just said, much of what he said helps you with this tool, which is using this medium, Zoom, how to better benefit from it. In my feedback, will focus more on the content. I suggest that your next speech is shorter and that you speak more savoring the words just as i'm doing now to show you how i do it speak slower just as jose said mentioned before and savor the words since you are in an english speaking club take this opportunity to practice each word and emphasize your message with pauses so less is more. Shorter speeches are better than long speeches. And I tell you that from a personal experience from many years being a Toastmaster. So good luck in your journey.
Anyone else? We have we are sort of breaking procedure, so we're not going to respect so much the time. If anyone else has some interesting feedback, comments, I'm thinking about the most experienced Toastmasters, Daniel, Aletea, <clears throat> if Naya, if, if of course anybody, but if if you guys want to contribute something else, please feel free to jump in. Time is up. I don't know if we, we have time and off. <laughs> we are sort of on schedule, and and this is a bit of a different structure. So I just want to reinforce for a level that it's too important for him to articulate a little bit better. I know that we are here in an online uh, situation. And sometimes just the, the internet is unstable and that difficult a little bit more. But articulate, it's something that it will be easier for the all people just to try to find uh, the right way to listen to you. I mean, sometimes if you, for example, if you lost a little bit of your speech because, for example, you are, uh, are rushing a little bit. so. People just 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 lose the, the attention in, in the rest of the speech. So I know that you have a really good English, and you just proved here in no other. You were a, a Toastmasters of the day in an English as well. So congratulate for you because you just go all these online these English clubs and you challenge yourself. But I will try, for example, for me in Portuguese, it's too difficult to speak a little, I don't know, uh, to articulate, to, to speak a little bit slower. Sometimes for me, I just be in a rush. So I will try to uh, challenge you for this in your next speech. Thank you, guys. We are, like I said, we're on schedule and we are sort of, making this evaluation a bit of a combination of table topics and evaluation. Uh, but on this on the agenda, it says <laughs> the timer report. Uh, it, would you like to give it a try, Aletea? No, because I didn't make any <laughs> of the topics. <laughs> Excellent. Let's move on then with uh, the reports, because we have to conciliate our feedback and our timekeeping and, and the agenda. And so we have to be conciliatory and conciliate the use of the word of the day. So let me pass the floor to our grammarian. Naya, over to you. Thank you. So uh, we tried to conciliate today. We had a lot of things to do. So it's a great morning. And I wanted to tell you something. Olavo first. Uh, keep doing it. That's You're doing the right way. Me, i always rushing. And I'm going to do like Edith said. I'm going to just take my time. Pause. We, that's what we need. So uh, congratulations to everyone who said conciliate today. Uh, we need peace and we need uh, to conciliate with a lot of things, information, time, and it's been really crazy lately, especially with the heat wave. So I'm going to give kudos to everyone who who's giving a shot, who's going for it. Just like Aletheia says, se uh, jogando, <laughs> right, Aletheia? So I'm gonna say to you about um, the good use of the language. I, I think sometimes we stumble with a little things like the, the verb, we wanna say uh, uh, took and instead of say took, we say take. So uh, what you need to do is to use the language more. That's what I'm gonna say to you. So I'm gonna give you some tips about how can I do it? First thing, you can go off here at, we have a, our club off the cuff on Sundays. They have a, improved to speeches there. You can practice there. So 
uh, I haven't been yet, but it's the time for you. You can go there and you can come to the, the our meetings. They'll be very useful. What, you, what else can I tell you about uh, some tips is um, watch more movies on Netflix. And, and if you want to talk to someone, just talk to me. Just give me a ring and I, I will talk to you in English. I'll be very glad to do it because I'm practicing too, okay? So um, that's it. I'm not going to talk a, a lot more about it. I'm trying to conciliate here the time today. Hmm. But just to finish... Um, I, I was really sad that I didn't talk enough with the fruits, okay? So back to you, Jose. <laughs> Thank you, Naya. Thanks. It's been, it's been a, a, a conciliation exercise, definitely, in many ways. So let's move on. We're coming to the end of the meeting, and, and now is the time for Edith to give us her general evaluation. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Conciliate is what we do all the time in life, in Toastmasters Club. We conciliate personal lives with personal interests and participating in a club. So that's that was a great word chosen by our great uh, grammarian and accountant, Naya Lima. So congratulations, Naya, for, for choosing, picking this word. And for double tasking. And again, conciliation is the word of the day because when you double task, just as Naya did today, you are conciliating every two um, uh, roles that you are, you expect to deliver to your club. So well done, Naya. That's a, a practice for life. Uh, taking action at, when it's necessary. Taking action when it's necessary. Well done. I liked your report, it was short and effective with good tips. Sometimes, guys, we think that a long report is useful. Usually, short reports with what's most important is more effective than a long report. So, well done, Naya. Loved it. Jose, as Toastmaster, I really appreciated your work. You were objective. You were creative, uh, giving, thinking of the round robin, so as a way to provide a feedback to our a speaker. And I, as a general suggestion, guys, I recommend that once in a while you do this. Round robins tend to be a very rich, rich feedback to the speaker. It's on the spot, it's a general view of everyone in the room, and it's so valuable. So when the evaluator doesn't show on or whatever, practice this round robin. Very good, well done. And as a Toastmaster, I, 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 uh, I would like to point out that Jose was focusing on the solution rather than complaining about the lack of an evaluator, whatever. He was focusing on what can we do to uh, improve this meeting, although the challenges. So taking action, positive action, that's what you guys have shown today. Alatea as a timer, well done controlling even the break. Many times timers forget that they're expected to control the, the whole time frame of the meeting. And Alatea was right on spot. And that's what I would expect from this beloved Toastmasters and very experienced person. Uh, Laura, Laura left us because uh, she she mentioned that she had something else to another meeting, but I loved her. We can learn from what Laura did today. She had a big smile. She was empathetic, very creative table topics. And what I recommend, guys, is if it takes longer than five seconds for someone to volunteer for table topics, and you are the table topics master. Just pick anyone. It, that's a one, one and a half hour meeting. So need to be agile so that we are not waiting for someone to take a decision. And that's the moment that table topics master can challenge someone who is there hidden somewhere. And then you are the person who said, oh, well, 
Joe, uh, why don't you take this? I will give you a question. And the person may seem frightened in the beginning, but if it's a member, not be careful with that. If it's a member, we are expected to push our members for their development. But be careful with guests. Guests may not be prepared for being challenged at this point in the first meeting. So just cold call someone for table topics. Our Zoom master did a great job too, Danielle. As being a Zoom master and dealing with the Zoom is always challenging and working the background. Also, sometimes people may not like it. And it's a, being a Zoom master is a very important role. So thank you, Daniel, for being a, a Zoom master today. Um, who else? Am I forgetting anyone? Um, well, general recommendations, uh, general comments. Really, guys, keep on introductions like this, like today. I've been in Brasilia Toastmasters Club, I think, other in other opportunities in the past. And I noticed that you guys share the structure. And as uh, José Toastmaster did, he explained the roles in the meeting. So that is very helpful for those who are coming in and guests who may not know what's going on. And then you have the slide being shared, the screen being shared with the information. I really love that. Things to think about. Word of the day, conciliation, conciliate. I myself forgot to mention that when I, I was doing the, my table topics uh, speech. One thing that helps a lot is the Toastmaster and the table talk topics master, remember the word and keep saying it. Because when we participants see the Toastmaster of the day using the word, then we remember to use it. And it's so useful to practice our brain to engage new words and new things in our speech. And that helps a lot to learn uh, the language. One thing I sometimes do is when I am grammarian is that I ask everyone to say the word of the day as i will ask you guys now to say the word open your microphones please and say conciliate 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 that's it so we managed to have everyone saying the word anyway right but i think that saying the word out loud helps us to use the word throughout the meeting so main and my final message is practice. Practice is the word. So Olavo, congratulations for your speech and practice and practice. Only one last thing, sorry that I almost forgot to mention uh, about evaluation. Uh, I think whoever is speaking before the speaker speaks can be the Toastmaster. It's very helpful to at least, I don't remember to hear that, saying the title of the speech, the name of the speaker, and the project. Because when we all give the person feedback, we know what the person is looking for. When we know the title, we know the person's track, this type of things. So always for, remember to say the name of the speaker, the title, and the path or the project. Back to you, Jose. Thank you so much, Edith, for being so conciliatory. Are you going to tell us where you are? Is that the middle of the Amazon? I'm sure you're not there. All right. Quick, quick so sharing. I am in the middle of the uh, um, Atlantic forest because I'm oh. Rio. And those who live in Rio, Sao Paulo, they are actually in the middle of the uh, Atlantic forest. Excellent. Thank you. Just make sure those who are close to Rio that don't attract bullets, those superpowers, <laughs> those superpowers <laughs> that Laura shared. Okay, let's move on to the to the very end of the meeting. We're going to have the winners of the day. I'm not sure what is the order of the thing because the evaluator of the day, I think we can skip that. And um, what do you guys think? Um, all right. 
Edith, congratulations. Let's move on to the next. Exactly. Well, the evaluator was a bit of a of a different animal today. So let's move on to the best speaker. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. That's that. <laughs> Thank, congratulations, Olavo. And and then the table topics. Oh, sorry. Did I miss that? It was a bit. I eat it. Oh my God! Sorry, sorry. Congratulations, David. My mistake. So I think that's that's the very end. Um, all I have to say from my side is this: I will leave for the president. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everyone. These meetings sometimes, especially in English, because because they tend to have less attendance of colleagues. They, the, the colleagues who organized and particularly Naya, but everyone behind uh, put a lot of work. It's important that the meeting takes place. Uh, not having a meeting because we don't have enough demand or something, it would be a, would be a shame because at the end of the day, we all need to practice English and, and be more confident speaking in public, etc. And I know that it can be a hassle and, and a headache for Naya and that at the last minute we can all be making changes and you know but th that's what it takes it takes flexi flexibility volunteering goodwill good collaboration good collaboration and a conciliatory spirit so i'll stop here let me just pass on the floor to daniel for the final announcements and thank you all from my side thank you Pepe. and I really appreciate it was really a great meeting today, even though that we have like some last minute changes, it was really nice and I would like to uh, say thank you to Naya that organized everything for us, so thank you Naya for all your efforts. And the final announcements, so the next meeting will be on December 2nd, so one week ahead. And it will be a Portuguese one, and it will be a really special because we have like our our party, our end year party. So try to go there; it will be really nice. And then we are going to announce our December uh, agenda as well. So we have more two uh, meetings in Portuguese in December, and one in English. So if you are interested, in, so just join us. And or follow us on Instagram as well that you can share and see what's going on. So thank you everybody. And I think that we could like make a, a final photo just to, to share. With other can people. we talk about our conference in Brasilia? For sure, go ahead. Yes, a hundred years next year and the uh, we're going to be the... <laughs> We're going to be the city that will represent 100 years of uh, Toastmasters. So we are really, really happy. I've been to Rio and I, I have met Edith and she was uh, the organizer. So I'm really, uh, Edith, come to Brasilia and visit us. Uh, it's a it's special city. There is a lot of trees with fruits and lots of things, lakes and so many things. So uh, I'm not gonna give you a spoiler. So come, okay? So everyone, I'm inviting you to save the date is uh, 25th of May of 2224. And I'm a Brazilian, I was born here and I'm really, really happy to, uh, to uh, receive you. I don't remember the word now, okay? So that's it. Let's take a picture. <laughs> So great. <laughs> photo, photo. You can talk to the fruits in Brasilia. So everybody, just smile and I will count you one, two, three, okay? One, two, three, yes. Great. Yes, it's done. So thank, thank you, you everybody. Have a nice weekend. Thank I you wish you great coming. success. Nayala, Naya, always call on me and I will come in. Bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Bye. Have a good weekend.
Pamela, Fábio, Daniel, Daniels. Have a great weekend, okay? Have See you next day. Saturday. <laughs> yes, we're going to be together. Bye-bye. See you guys. Thank Cheers. you, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.